Welcome back to Primetime Sports Thursday. Continuing with some cricket, former West Indies batting coach Toby Radford has come to the defense of Jamaican John Campbell following his recent disappointing tour of England. But as we'll hear in this report, the Welshman is also questioning the technical expertise used by the Caribbean team to counter the hosts following their 2-1 series defeat to surrender the Wisden Trophy. There were high hopes for the Windies after they won the opening test. However, the quality of the world number four ranked England overpowered the tourists as they regained the Wisden Trophy. 34-year-old Stuart Broad was a lethal weapon for the hosts with 16 wickets. But Radford, who guided the batsmen when the Windies historically beat the English in one of their three tests back in 2017 and then beat them to win the Wisden Trophy in the Caribbean in 2019, says the same meticulous measures were not carried out this trip. We set up the bowling machine and we used to put the machine wide of the crease and we'd try and replicate the same type of pace, the length that we bowl, and I've put a lot of in-swing on the ball so the guys would get used to, in practice, facing the type of trajectory, the type of speed and the type of angle that he would come with. You're trying to give yourself the best possible chance when you do then go into the middle you know, the following day. Jermaine Blackwood was the highest run scorer with 211 runs for the Windies in six innings. And Radford said he was in constant dialogue with the Jamaican during the lockdown. But John Campbell faltered badly, making just 84 runs. However, the Welshman wants more support for the left-hander. John Campbell's a good player. He played last winter in the Caribbean. He looked a really good player. He was getting to 30s and 40s. He was getting himself out. But he was getting to 30 or 40, you know, playing some lovely shots. What John would have to do, I think, is spend more time in England to realise the type of things we talked about, playing later, knowing where your off stump is. Again, you've just got to be a bit more selective. I think what was happening at times, he was going for big cover drives, but in England it swings late. And, and what might be a cover drive in the Caribbean and it doesn't swing late, it goes for the boundary. In England, you can suddenly be nicking it to second slip and you're walking off. Even though the Caribbean batters failed to muster over 200 in their last three innings of the tour, Radford said that should be no cause for alarm. Well, look, I don't think there's any jerk reaction. I don't think there's any panic because playing away from home in modern cricket, international cricket, is so much harder these days. Uh, playing away is so much harder than playing at home. So, you know, you know that the West Indies will always play better when they come back to their own pitches that they're brought up on, that they know how to play. And that's the same for every team around the world. Radford, who is now responsible for batting development programmes for the England and Wales Cricket Board, was speaking on Hits 92 FM's Sports Grill on Wednesday. Jordan Fort, TVJ Sports.